Morning. Morning. How are you doing? Yoga. Since when? Since somebody told me about it. It's meant to be good for you. And who's showing me how to do that then? Oh, just YouTube. This is called Warrior 2. What's that supposed to do then? Strengthen your muscles and sharpen your mind. Right. Well, it's nice to see you doing some exercise. Is that a dig, Steve? No. Why does everything have to be a criticism? Because it's the way you say stuff. Well, I'm just saying that I approve. Oh, well, I don't need your approval. Why are we arguing? We're not. You never said thank you, by the way. What for? For his jabs. Oh, thank you. I had to move heaven and earth. All right, I just said thank you. Well, it'd be nice if we didn't have to drag it out of you. Are we still spending the day together? Yes. Good. No, I can't have any more. One packet. That was what I said. One packet. But I've got them all. Jack's dad bought him five. Well, Jack's dad hasn't got seven mouths to feed. Eight now Gemma's mother's back. Yeah, Chess. Don't forget to go to the job centre, yeah? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Gary's still not answering? No, I'll keep trying. Right, well, let me know when you spoke to him. Yeah, I will. No, yeah, mate. Well? Raise his ears. Hey. Hey. Did you speak to the girls last night? No. If they haven't locked me up by tea time, I'll be lucky. Hey, they're not going to lock you up. Why has she done this to us, Chess? How did we not see it coming? One second, pal. So go on then, how was she? Oh, Diane, I'm not answering that. Do you know what? I never knew she was that way inclined. Well, she was for one night only. Tracy Barlow, for one night only, live at the Palladium, with the emphasis being on lady. <laughs> so, how did you know she was up for it, then? Um, I don't know. It took us both by surprise a bit. Mm. Rather you than me, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Hi. This is a bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Can I have a word? What, with her, Mommy? With you. Right, yes. Um, well, I'm gonna put this in the car, then. I take it you've come to apologise? Sort of. Sort of. All right, Leanne. Yeah, I've come to apologise. Mm. Cos you want me to keep quiet. Well, that would really help. Well, who am I gonna tell, eh? Steve? Nick, my sister, Liz. Liz? Oh, shut up. Yeah, well, you better keep him in good books then. I'll try. Well, he can't exactly be knocking it out of the park. Well, that'd actually been a while. Not that I have to justify any of this to you. I mean, I know me and him, it was only the once. No, I tell a lie. It was twice. I don't want to hear about it, Leanne. Steve is still my husband, and I love him, despite what you and him got up to. Yeah, but would he love you when he knows what you've got up to, eh? <laughs> well, I'm hoping that he doesn't need to find out. Hmm, I'm sure. So thank you, thank you, in advance. Tracy? Yes? What was it like? Oh, I probably wouldn't go back, but... Yeah, it was OK for a visit. You should try it one day. If anybody would have you. See ya. <laughs> yeah, see ya. There's a half-price sale on at Weatherfield Carpets and Rugs. What do you think about replacing the one in the landing? There's always a sale on in every carpet shop in the world. That's how they get you through the door. Same with beds and wardrobes. When have you ever paid full price for any piece of furniture? Hmm? It was just a thought. Well, I don't like seeing you being taken in like that. Anyway, never mind the landing carpet. Tell you what needs replacing. Mm. That cardigan. This? Mm. Let's spend our hard-earned money on you, not the spare room. I quite like this. We could go into town or the Trafford Centre, get you kitted out. Today. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what time is it tomorrow? Ah, uh, 12 o'clock. I don't really like funerals. Well, I suspect you're not alone. 
Was he popular, your brother? Oh, I should find out. Uh, listen, I've, uh, I've got the Gazette coming at one. I uh, feel your pain, as I say. A man dies and I'm being nominated for an award. That's the world we live in. Listen, it's people like you they should be given awards to, but I understand the sentiment. I've been thinking a lot more about it. About what? Going back to nursing. Ah, oh, yes, you, you hinted at something a, a little while ago. Look, I'll tell you about it when they've gone. It's a long story. It's not an happy ending. How's the day off going? Huh? Spending it with Tracy, she's got the day off and all. And how's that going? No. You sure about that? I might take her for lunch later. You know, spoil her a bit. Still creeping, then? Not creeping. Making an effort. I can see. Rovers later. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Through the worst of it. Hey? We sell. Hey, I hope so, God willing. She's not mentioned it for a few days, so I'm hoping it's blown over. <laughs> Somebody else in the open is blown over. And she still doesn't know that you two know, OK? So it's going to stay that way. No, I've got my own problems. Yeah, me too. I've got a dodgy alternator with my name on it. If only. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Don't know he's born, does he? So you take her out for lunch, then, eh? You know what? I think I might have come up with a better idea. Bye. Is it safe? Ah, oh, you avoiding her? Oh, you know what it's like. No, not really. Yeah. After. Um, I ran into Sally on my way back, and she's invited me to spend an hour in the hot tub over lunch. Ugh, you don't let the grass grow. Well, boys are in court. You know, we could celebrate my last day in the office. You fancy it? Would that be safe? From Sally's wittering, I doubt it. Oh, go on, then. No funny business, though. Oh, Leanne, you're not my type. What, and Tracy is? Look, can I say something? Oh, am I about to be told off? It's just a bit tedious. You know, I like men, I like women. Hey, I'm not poking funny at your sexuality. It's more the fact that you went for Tracy Barlow. And can I tell you something? Now I'm going to get told off. She's a married woman, so you can forget the moral high ground. True. Right. Well, I'm glad we sorted that, then. It's still on for the hot tub, though, yeah? Yeah, totally. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, two fresco fast tracks they got opening next month, one three doors down from Lyle. He thinks he's going to have to shut down, OK? Where's the protection? There's no protection. 42 years Lyle's been in that place. I understand all that, but Chesney has got five kids. Yeah, it's like a dagger through my heart. I don't think it even occurred to him. Right. And that's what really hurts. Oi, oh, Dev, shame on you. <laughs> Don't give me that. Well, you're telling me what, that if Quick Fit opened a shop around the corner and Tyron was in her ad campaign, you'd be coming here giving me this? Well, you should have sucked it up. Been a bigger man. I've had my last kebab off you. So, have you spoke to him? No. Well, where is he? What is the question in him? I thought they checked out your story. I thought they was happy. Well, maybe they found out I was lying. <sighs> if they found out you were lying, we don't get the girls back. You hungry? No, I couldn't eat a thing. Kev sent me home. Why? In case I make a mistake. Hands up if you part on a hot tub. Huh? What now? Yeah, you're off work, I'm off work. Like, just the two of us? Who else? Oh, so, Steve, you are romantic after all. Of course I am. Yeah. And cheap.
I've always been spontaneous. I mean, who cares if it's a Friday lunchtime? Who needs a special occasion to jump into a bath with your friends? <laughs> Tracy? Paula? Yeah? Steve? How did you get in? Tim gives the key. Oh. Do you know what? Don't worry about it. We'll come back another day. Oh, no, you're here now. You don't mind if they join us, do you? No, no, I don't mind. Do you mind, Paula? Um, what? No, I think we'll leave it. No, come on, the more the merrier. Yeah, come, Chase. Bit of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Look at Steve. He's like the cat who's got the cream. Come on, <laughs> hop in. Oh, come in now. Get me flip up, Chase. It's him. Right, I'll get it. You stay there. Where is she? Right, before you kick off, do you know what has happened to us? I've been trying to call you. It was Jade. Jade told him, but I stuck to the story. I said, the only one I've seen is the antique gun in the shop. I have been trying to warn you about it all morning. Right, that's what I said to Thank God. Yeah, they've been trying to trip me up, asking if I'm going to change my story. Do you even know that social services have taught the girls? Are you kidding? Do we foster carers? You may have dodged a bullet today, and no pun intended, but I say you come clean. Yeah, all due respect. Huh? Why'd you lie in the first place? Fizz bought that gun in all innocence. Gary's right. We've got to stick to the story now. We've got no choice. Oh, love that one. Look at Cleo's little face. Mm, they've come out really well. Haven't they? <laughs> By the way, I will need you to sign off on them before the end of the day. It shouldn't be a problem. It means we get paid. Yeah, you'll have his pen out in a flash. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like the Sundance kid. <laughs> you? You're more like the Milky Bar kid. Who's that? Oh, that, that's just one of our background artists. Mm. Is it the chaperone from yesterday? Oh, look, I like this one. We're with all the wooden toys. <laughs> it looks like she's their mother. It's industry standard. You was all over us the other week. Well, you can't see that much of her, just her arm and her hair. But it's not my arm, and it's not my hair. It, it's the quads they really want to see. No, I'm not sure about this. You said you wanted to see a real family in the real house. And then you whisk us off to Whale Barnes and you're wheeling a fake mum. Right, well, I can speak to head office and let them know that you're not happy. Yeah, good, cos I'm not. Well, let's just see the rest of the pictures first. Who's he? Oh, it's just like Roman times. I feel like we should all be eating grapes. <laughs> well, as long as nobody starts playing footsie, you know who you are. Oh, uh, she would play footsie with me. Oh, I bet she would. You know, I sometimes sit out here and I think, got a hot tub and a horse, you know, from such humble beginnings. So were you in here on New Year's Eve then? New Year? No! No, Tim was poorly. Do you remember? Yeah, we just had a quiet one. What did you get up to on New Year's? Oh, you know, this nap. Oh, she's free and easy. She didn't have anybody to answer to. <laughs> You're quiet, Tracy. Am I? How was your New Year's Eve? It was fine. So where did you end up? Because Steve was working, didn't he? Oh, um. Went to the Rovers. Oh, the Rovers. If I had a pound for every New Year's Eve I'd spent in the Rovers. Yeah, that was to most of us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Didn't fancy a change, then? What? You know, something different. Well, I bet the devil you know, innit? No, oh, I don't know. What do they say? A change is as good as a rest. Mm. His, uh, his bed notes hadn't been filled in. So no one knew he was allergic. Who who was responsible for that? You well, not me, but I should have been more thorough. And you sure that's why he died? Well, nobody blamed me, but how could I not feel responsible? And that led to your dismissal. Resignation. I couldn't cope. I started doubting myself. Double checking, triple checking, like you and that griddle. Peace of mind. I often think of his family. I'm sure. 
The NHS. Finest institution we have. Amen to that. Understaffed. Underpaid. Overworked. Well, I better get on. Go on up. No doubt you've got shoes to polish. All right, gentlemen. Form an orderly queue. Yeah, bacon boy sign with you. Yeah, cup of tea as well. Don't worry, I'm leaving. Can't take it anymore. No, you can't do that. They're going to wonder why. No, it's fine. I've already told them it's a work thing. She said she wasn't going to say anything. <sighs> Have you seen her? Can't stop grinning. Mm, I'd never have invited her if I'd known, obviously. Mm, trying to get your claws into her and all, are you? Oh, yeah, of course, like I prayed on you. You did, Paula. Oh. I was drunk. I've said this before. You took advantage of me. Oh, come on. This is a big joke to you, isn't it? But this is my marriage. As far as I recall, it was your marriage that was the problem, and that's how comes you ended up in bed with me. Tell me you're joking. Don't look at me like that. Tracy Barlow, have you completely lost your mind? That were a cheap trick, that. Sign off on the pictures or you don't get your money. They should have told us from the start. Well, they never intended to use us. Industry standard? Yeah, what they mean is I'm a skank and you're a ginger pasty face. Well, they can't hold a gun to our heads. No, they can't hold a pen. Did you even go to the job centre? Yes, there's nothing going. Oh, Second-class citizens, that's what we are. She practically held her nose when she came in here. We've got four babies, Gemma. It can smell pretty grim. Yeah, but that's how the world sees us. They think that we stink. Mm. They could be on billboards by the weekend. Yeah. With the manicured mum and the hunky dad. He wasn't that ripped. It was all about his suntan. Oh, it was everything! It was his hair, the house, the way I talk. We've been played, Chez. What, what do you want to do, then? Uh. What's going on? Something has happened and I think you know what. It's me? Mm-hmm. Right, so everything all right? Are you in on this and all, are you? Sorry? Well, what was that? What? What? You just looked at each other. No, we didn't. Oh, come on, I've known you both for far too long. Be honest with me. Something went on on New Year's Eve. I know nothing. No, me neither. Is that another bloke? No. Oh, no, absolutely not. No, it's the last thing she's done. Oh, so you do know something, then? What? Well... You've just said what it wasn't, so you must know what it was. No, not necessarily. I don't believe you. Well, I think you should talk to Trace. And where is she? She's not feeling very well. <laughs> you are lying to me. And you are. Now, you I can forgive, but you, you are the mother of my child. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean exactly? Nothing. Don't mean anything. She slept with somebody else, hasn't she? Has she? Bags look more expensive than most of the things in my wardrobe. Well, the bag your boots came in is a cracker. I'd keep that. I'm keeping all of them. They're so sturdy. I like the string handles on them. Yes, Ming. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Oh, you've been shopping? <laughs> excuse me. The wall there. Oh, all right, all right mate. What? Excuse me, excuse me. Is that it? Is that it? Is it what, what, all right to mate? Hmm? Take a pop. What? Take a pop. Go on, are you going to tell me you're going to boycott my uh, corner shops with my kebab shop, are you? I haven't got time for this. No, that's right. That is right, isn't it? You don't have time for this, because you don't have time for me, because nobody... You know Chesney? Chesney's advertising my biggest rivals. Hey? After everything I've done. I've been spoiled rotten. We're about to do a fashion show. Well, you can wear the winning outfit to the Rovers. We'll be in this afternoon. Why not? Yeah. If that's what you'd like to do. See you round three? Yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> oh, Ruby should be at a swimming lesson. I haven't even phoned, you know, to say she'll miss it. You need to go back to the police. And say what? The truth about the gun. It's too late. 
just kidding yourselves. They'll trace the gun. They'll go back to the guy that sold it to you. He'll have all the Don't paperwork. Stop it! This was a mass shooting business. They are going to get to the bottom of it with or without you. You have done nothing wrong apart well, from what... it doesn't feel like that. It feels like I've messed everything up. We need to get our girls back, right? And when the police find out you're lying, they're going to go straight to social services. And then we've got no chance. Gary won't do it. I don't care about Gary. I care about you. She shouldn't have made all those cracks. Mm. Well, to be fair, I'd have probably done the same thing if I was a... Are you all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, never better. I was stuck in a hot tub with my husband, the mother of one of his children, a woman I went to bed with, and a nosy as cow in Weatherfield. Is there anything I can do? I think you've done enough already. I didn't actually ask you to follow me here. No, I came here because I was concerned about you. Paula, can you just leave? Well, it's not like I'm going to pounce on you or something. Tracy! Just go. Get into the bathroom. Well, he's not going to suspect me. No, he'll jump to the wrong conclusion or the right conclusion. Please, just get in the bathroom. Tracy, this is absurd. Tracy? Yeah? What happened to you? Oh, do you know, Steve, I could really feel a headache coming on. I had to get away. <gasps> From me? Do you have a one-night stand on New Year's Eve? Yeah. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. <laughs>